It's uh, Monday, January 23rd. Um, I guess what I want to talk about today is the Laplacian of Gaussian operator. Um, most of the class today was spent talking about the Laplacian of Gaussian operator today. Um, it wasn't that hard to follow Dr. Lee's um, notes as before. I feel this is probably because I have watched uh, some of the videos from other lectures and that really helped um, help me to click the ideas. Um, but the big idea that I got was that you apply a Gaussian filter to an image then you apply the Laplacian filter, which is essentially the second derivative of the original image. Um, now, because the Gaussian filter is linear and the second derivative is linear, you can apply the second derivative on the Gaussian before applying to the image. So what you would get is you would get a log, which stands for Laplacian of Gaussian. Uh, so if you have that, then you can apply the Laplacian of Gaussian onto the image to get a uh, to get to find the edges of an image. That's pretty much it. Um, if I were to draw diagrams, you would have the Gaussian image and then you would have the derivative of this Gaussian which would now turn into like this. So the Laplacian of Gaussian when I convolute these two uh, linear filters I would get a graph look like this. This really hits me because uh, I watched the video and um, they call this the reverse Mexican hat. And you would just apply this to the image and you would get um, the filter and the sharpen effect of the image. Um, but Another thing that he talked about was dog, which is the difference of Gaussian. So supposedly if you have a Gaussian minus another Gaussian um, with different standard deviation, you will also get uh, the reverse Mexican hat. So that could be a faster way to compute uh, log than taking the second derivative of log, uh, of second derivative of Gaussian. So you would use that and then you would apply it to the image to um, find the edges of an image. And this relates to sharpening because the way to sharpen an image um, is to take the original image and remove the second derivative of that image. It seems to be, um, it's a little weird. I should, I should talk about this in the, in the next video.